the most vulnerable is ordinary acrylic paint. In addition, it becomes noticeably cloudy twice as fast as metalized paint after a couple of years. By the way, the first corrosion should be looked for where the bar on the tailgate comes into contact with the paint. Take a look at the inner parts of the thresholds, side door seals are actively involved in such sabotage. Adds hassle and plastic, weakly holding front roof rails fairings on the roof at speed can disappear in an unknown direction, and peeling silver door sills and both bumpers were often changed already under warranty. From sandblasting, as we expected, the protruding sidewalls in front of the rear arches suffer, it makes sense to protect them with an anti-gravel film, and replace the stubby front mud guards with larger ones. Chips stick to the edge of the roof above the windshield, fortunately, even bare metal does not quickly rust. And they were not mistaken with criticism of the insufficient rigidity of the body, it happens that cracks spread along the windshield from strong distortions on the road. And the copies of the first year of production, considered, without exception, were marked by bursting paint covering the mastic in the back of the joints of the roof with the sidewalls. Problem areas were repainted under warranty, but stubborn cracks did not slow down to reappear. In July 2012, to increase structural rigidity, the length of the weld in the trunk opening was doubled, but this did not become a panacea for troubles. Fortunately, the defect is purely cosmetic and does not lead to further devastation. Paint cracks over the joints of the back of the roof panel and sidewalls, almost a universal epidemic. So long. Do not be surprised if you find a leaking aquarium in the interior ceiling lamp. Condensation from the roof likes to accumulate there. Another drop, under the feet of the front passenger, is a generic sore of the entire Logan family, the drainage snail of the climate control unit departs. Initially silent interior with new sounds almost does not grow over time. The seat upholstery fabric is not the most durable, and the polymer coating of the steering wheel after 140 to 160,000 kilometers can wear out to the meat. Dampness often harms poorly sealed rear number plate lights and parking sensors connectors in the bumper. But in general, in a simple electrician, problems are rare, except that the fuel gauge or onboard computer turns off, and the sound signal becomes numb due to the wiring on pre-styling versions older than 2015, later the horn button moved to the steering wheel. And the problem with the striking hair dryer electric heater for diesel vehicles older than 2013 is solved by flashing the ECU. Headlights are prone to fogging, and their plastic scratches easily and becomes cloudy quickly. The bumper extending from the wing is not a sign of an accident, it does not hold well in fresh specimens. Closing the mesh with huge slots in the bumper grills is a useful element of independent tuning. Whip business is not averse to continuing the washer reservoir, the elementary seal of the pump fails. Drought also happens, if the valve that switches the washer supply between the front and rear windows fails. But it's even worse if, in pre-styling specimens, water begins to seep past the nozzles on the hood, which are deprived of rubber gaskets, or washer fluid leaks at the tube landing site, sniper dampness gets on the spark plugs and ignition coils of gasoline engines. In order not to bring the matter to misfires and loss of coils, it is better to put the nozzles on a sealant or replace them with three jet ones from later versions. And if things still go to the extreme, do not hesitate to replace the elements of the ignition system, even the engine electronics signaling a malfunction with the check engine lamp does not think to turn off the nozzles and problem cylinders, putting excess fuel at risk to the health of the converter. Engine. In addition to coils and candles, the crankshaft position sensor, 55 euros branded and from 15 analogs, most often becomes the culprit for problems with 1.6 and 2.0 gasoline engines in pre-styling Renault dusters. And remember that the situation with the not very effective crankcase ventilation system for both engines is aggravated by a too modest air filter. It is better to change it every 10,000 kilometers, and when a motor oil deposit is discovered in the receiver housing, the more driving at high speeds, the richer the deposits, and more often. For both units, after 60 to 90,000 kilometers, the thermostat may jam, and on the side of the timing drive during cold starts, a creak and rattle may appear. You should not panic, because, as a rule, weak rollers of the attachment belt are screaming. Both motors can fail elementary throttle body gaskets in 3 to 5 years, with leaky ones it is difficult to start in cold weather. And after a run of 60 to 80,000 kilometers, other seals are also brought in. Oil streaks appear at the junction and near the valve cover bolts. For K4M and F4R engines, shown in the illustration, if the timing belt breaks, the pistons are almost guaranteed to bend the valves. 
The H4M engine produced in Toliati makes Duster not only related to a dozen Nissans, including Taita, Kashke, Sentra, and Juke models, but also to Lada. The 2-liter F4R engine, although the most popular, half of the cars on the market, is not the most successful. From the younger brother K4M with a volume of 1.6 liters, with such a third of the cars, this unit, in particular, differs in the presence of phase regulators. During restyling in 2015, it acquired one at the intake, increasing the output from 135 to 143 horsepower. And at the same time and problems with the couplings, 150 euros each, sometimes do not withstand even 60 to 80,000 kilometers. You need to check hot, diesel, rattling notifies you of trouble only on a warm engine. Postponing repairs is risky. The wear products of the phase shifters will first clog the control valve, and then scatter throughout the entire lubrication system. The weak point of the 2-liter engine is the phase shifter clutch. More often at 2.0, the piston group also throws up surprises, after 140 to 170,000 kilometers, due to the occurrence or wear of the rings, oil consumption can go off scale for 3 liters per 10,000 kilometers. And in general, a larger engine surprisingly turned out to be less durable for overhaul with the boring of a cast iron cylinder block, it usually withstands about 300,000 kilometers against 350 to 400,000 that 1.6 is able to plow. In 2015, the well-deserved unit of the K4M series, which has been registered on many Renault models since the 90s, gave way to the Nissan H4M engine, aka HR16DE, of Toliati production with a volume of 1.6 liters. And this, too, is hardly a cause for special celebration. On the one hand, the phase shifters, at the intake, of this unit are more reliable than those of a 2-liter one. But before the overhaul, the engine takes care of the same 300,000 kilometers, and only a sleeve from Craftsman can save from buying a new aluminum cylinder block. Maintenance seems to be easier. There is no need to replace the toothed belt due to its absence in the timing chain drive, which does not require attention for years and the electronic throttle is more slowly overgrown with deposits. But the valve clearances are not controlled by hydraulic compensators, as in the K4M. The mechanism that begins to click every 80 to 100,000 kilometers has to select pushers of a new thickness. The slightly higher power of the H4M is offset by less resistance to overheating. Like its French counterparts, this unit does not always start up enthusiastically in cold weather. It likes to whistle with the generator belt drive. In addition, the sound picture is often enriched by the growl of the exhaust system with the destroyed gasket ring, 35 euros, of the exhaust pipe, and nervous trembling after 100,000 kilometers has to be appeased by replacing the torn pillow of the right support. Weaker versions of the turbo diesel have a turbine of constant geometry, the performance of which is controlled by a bypass valve, and the 109 horsepower modification has a variable geometry turbocharger. Nissan's 1.5-liter K9K diesel engine, which made its debut in 2001, among others, makes the modest duster related to cars. Mercedes. And it is remarkable not only for this. For by the time it appeared on our Renault duster, 10% of cars with it, it got rid of its main misfortune, the wear of the connecting rod bearings after a frivolous 100 to 150,000 kilometers. Only oil starvation or absolutely unreasonable savings on the quality of oil which is better to renew every 10,000 kilometers, can bring reinforced liners, 60 euros each, to cranking. By the way, this will also help not to retire the turbocharger, 1,000 to 1,300 euros, before 150,000 kilometers. Sensitive to diet and fuel equipment. If you refuel anywhere, the Delphi Piezo electric injectors, 500 euros each. On the 90 horsepower version will not last even 10 to 12,000 kilometers. And do not hesitate to replace the junk nozzles, the costs can still jump due to the subsequent burnout of the pistons. With the restyling of 2015, the design of the optics, the bumper and the radiator grille have changed. The list of options has expanded, the 2-liter engine and diesel have added power, and the 1.6 engine has become different. When restyling in 2015, they began to install another, more powerful version of the K9K engine, 109 horsepower, on the duster. In addition to the system for changing the geometry of the turbocharger, this one is distinguished by the presence of a particulate filter, 750 euros, which even in the city can withstand a laudable 150 to 200,000 kilometers, as well as other fuel equipment, Siemens brand, 
with simpler and more unpretentious injectors, 300 euros each, but with a more demanding high-pressure pump, 1,200 euros, which can wear out after 120 to 170,000 kilometers. For any of the diesels, after 100 to 120,000 kilometers, the EGR exhaust gas recirculation system can fail, 250 euros for a new valve assembly and a more powerful version burdened with a dual mass flywheel with the same mileage may require its replacement, 800 euros. Transmission. Not everything goes well with the clutch, 150 to 200 euros, paired with any of the gearboxes, the 6-speed TL8 and the 5-speed JR5 for front-wheel drive versions. The lining of the driven disc lasts 130 to 160,000 kilometers, but due to fatigue from increased loads, usually when conquering off-road, of leaf or damper springs, twitching can begin soon after 100,000 km. The clutch slave cylinder, combined with the release bearing, 110 euros, turned out to be complex and not very reliable, it often has to be changed after a run of 50 to 70,000 km. And be careful when pumping, the reason for buying a new unit can easily be a fragile plastic pipe for the hydraulic line, on which the fitting is located. Not everything goes well with the clutch, 150 to 200 euros, Paired with any of the gearboxes, the 6-speed TL8 and the 5-speed JR5 for front-wheel drive versions. The lining of the driven disc lasts 130 to 160,000 kilometers, but due to fatigue from increased loads, usually when conquering off-road, of leaf or damper springs, twitching can begin soon after 100,000 kilometers. The clutch slave cylinder, combined with the release bearing, 110 euros, turned out to be complex and not very reliable often has to be changed after a run of 50 to 70,000 kilometers. And be careful when pumping, the reason for buying a new unit can easily be a fragile plastic pipe for the hydraulic line, on which the fitting is located. The design is based on the all-Logan B0 platform, and the all-wheel drive transmission is borrowed from related Nissan cars. The mechanical gearboxes themselves are commendably reliable and rarely upset by something more serious than oil seal leaks. Although in the early years, oil losses were so rapid that they were brought to warranty replacements for unsuccessfully assembled and jammed units. Simplicity and unpretentiousness match the electromagnetic multiplate clutch for connecting the rear axle, sitting in front of the main gear. If it's junk, it's the fault of the control electrician. It's easy to damage the wiring on the roads, and copies of the first two years of production could arbitrarily turn into purely front-wheel drive at the beginning of the movement or turn the steering wheel to extreme positions service campaign for filling the corrected control program return discipline sister nissan tirano has differences in appearance and interior but not in reliability it's amazing but even the four-speed automatic transmission known for its whims behaves quite decently for the company nearly dp0 and after modernization in 2013 called dp8 for all-wheel drive dusters and dp2 with front-wheel drive box in 2015 managed to survive a service campaign to replace the oil distributor block and O-rings. But the unit with the redesigned torque converter and ZF valve body, as well as with a more efficient enlarged heat exchanger and an additional oil cooling circuit, began to suffer less from its main trouble, overheating. And if you don't skimp and officially change the eternal oil, the control hydraulics will last 100 to 150,000 kilometers without repair and the iron itself will last 250,000 kilometers. But the box still doesn't like the cold, so it's better to spend time warming it up before the trip than prematurely fussing with replacing valves. Suspension and steering. Even in cold weather, CV joints seized with thickened grease can crunch, but before 150 to 180,000 kilometers they rarely wear out, which saves you from buying drives that go exclusively in assembly, 400 to 480 euros each. But the cardan shaft cannot boast of being problem-free. The crosses, first the front, often begin to play without waiting for 100,000 kilometers, and for specimens that often encounter off-road conditions twice as soon. Pulling with the repair is fraught, the shaft splitting will break neighboring bearings, and if the crosses are heavily worn, they may fall apart. The piquancy of the situation is that the cardan and spare parts is assembled with non-removable crosses and costs a modest by duster standards 570 euros, and the only alternative that allows you to save twice as much is to find a service that can select and implement suitable crosses and balance the shaft. In order not to suddenly be left without the help of a power steering in specimens older than 4 or 5 years, do not forget to keep an eye on its high pressure line, 
250 euros it is often rubbed through at the point of attachment to the subframe. The design, by the way, is equally unsuccessful for both the hydraulic booster and the EGUR on diesel versions. And for specimens that saw the light before mid-2012, keep an eye on the handbrake cables, their own mounting brackets have torn through the shell through and through for several years. And yet, in general, the undercarriage turned out to be even stronger than we thought. And the prices for original parts are not sad, they are sometimes lower than for analogs. To break the steering rack, you need to try very hard, and a new branded one will cost only 250 euros. The role of the weak link in the suspension can only be assigned to penny bushings of the front stabilizer, 9 euros original and from 2 to 3 for analogs, which have to be updated every 30 to 50,000 kilometers. Following after 50 to 70,000 comes the turn of the front stabilizer struts. The decline of the rear stabilizer struts comes later, after 80 to 110,000 kilometers. At the same time, the term of the rear shock absorbers, wheel bearings, and ball bearings comes up, although they are sold in a load with levers, they cost, in the original, or only 45 euros. Front shock absorbers usually hold up to 100 to 120,000 kilometers, silent blocks, up to 110 to 140,000, and bearings rarely start to buzz before 140 to 160,000 kilometers. The rear suspension requires no earlier attention, either McPherson for all-wheel drive versions, or with the semi-independent beam for front-wheel drive.